Did you know that the richest man in history was worth an estimated $400 billion, a fortune that makes today's billionaires look like mere millionaires in comparison? This man, Mansa Musa, hailed from the 14th century Mali Empire. His wealth, amassed from his empire's vast production of gold and salt, eclipses that of modern moguls like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. Now let's dive into the incredible journey of Mansa Musa, the richest man in history. Born in 1280, Mansa Musa was the ruler of the Mali Empire, an African state which was rich in natural resources. In a time when the world was largely unexplored, the Mali Empire was a beacon of wealth and prosperity, nestled in the heart of West Africa. Musa was a member of the Keita dynasty, the ruling family of the Mali Empire. His early life was one of privilege but also responsibility. He was groomed to lead from a young age, and when his predecessor, Abu Bakr II, embarked on an expedition to explore the far side of the Atlantic Ocean and never returned, Musa ascended to the throne. His rule began in 1312 and he quickly proved to be a leader of exceptional acumen. He ruled with a fair hand, and his reign was marked by peace, prosperity, and a flourishing of the arts and education. But above all, it was the wealth of the Mali Empire that set it apart. The Mali Empire was blessed with an abundance of natural resources, but it was gold and salt that truly made it a powerhouse. The empire was strategically located on the crossroads of the Trans-Saharan trade routes, and it controlled the supply of gold and salt to much of Africa, the Middle East, and even parts of Europe. The gold mines of Mali were legendary, and they produced an estimated two-thirds of the world's supply. The salt pans of the Sahara, meanwhile, were equally lucrative. Salt was as valuable as gold in some regions, and it was in high demand for preservation and flavoring food. This wealth was not hoarded, but used to build a prosperous and cultured society. Musa invested in education, infrastructure, and the arts. He built schools, mosques, and libraries, and under his rule, the city of Timbuktu became a renowned center of learning and culture. Mansa Musa's rule was set against a backdrop of unimaginable wealth. But it was his actions as a leader that truly set the stage for his extraordinary fortune. Under Mansa Musa's rule the Mali Empire flourished, becoming a hub for culture, education and above all, wealth. Mansa Musa, a name that echoes through the corridors of history, was a visionary who sought to create an empire that was not only wealthy, but also intellectually rich. He believed that a nation's true strength lies in the enlightenment of its people. So, he prioritized education, culture, and infrastructure. During his reign, Mansa Musa expanded the Mali Empire, stretching its boundaries and influence further than ever before. He annexed 24 cities, each with their surrounding districts, bringing a vast expanse under his rule. But Mansa Musa's ambition didn't stop at territorial expansion. He was determined to make his empire a beacon of prosperity and intellectual prowess. He invested heavily in infrastructure, transforming the landscape of the empire. Cities under his rule were adorned with grand architectural wonders, roads were built and maintained and trade routes were established and protected. These trade routes would play a pivotal role in the empire's economy, connecting it with the rest of Africa and even distant lands across the seas. Mansa Musa promoted education and culture, fostering an environment where knowledge could be pursued and appreciated. He established libraries and learning centers, attracting scholars from near and far. These institutions became the cradle of intellectual growth, nurturing a generation of thinkers, philosophers, and innovators. But what truly set the Mali Empire apart during Mansa Musa's reign was its gold production. The empire was blessed with abundant gold mines and under Mansa Musa's efficient management, these mines were exploited to their full potential. Gold flowed through the empire like water through a river, contributing significantly to its wealth. This precious metal was not only used for trade but also for promoting arts and culture. Artists, craftsmen and builders were encouraged to use gold in their creations, adding a golden sheen to the empire's prosperity. Mansa Musa's rule was indeed a golden reign. His leadership was marked by wisdom and foresight. He understood the importance of a balanced approach to governance. He knew that wealth alone wasn't enough, that the prosperity of an empire is measured not just in gold, but in the enlightenment of its people. So, he sought to create an empire that was wealthy in every sense of the word. Mansa Musa's wise leadership led to a golden age in the Mali Empire, setting the foundation for his incredible wealth. His reign was a testament to the fact that wealth is not just about accumulation, but also about distribution and utilization. 
Mansa Musa's golden reign wasn't just about the gold in the treasury, but about the golden age of prosperity, culture, and education that he ushered in. It was this golden reign that cemented his place in history as the richest man ever. Mansa Musa's wealth truly came into the global spotlight during his famous pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324. Imagine a procession so grand, so extravagant, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. This was the reality when Mansa Musa embarked on his pilgrimage. A caravan stretching as far as the eye could see, filled with thousands of his subjects, each one decked out in Persian silk and carrying golden staffs. Even the camels were adorned in gold. This was no ordinary journey but a statement of wealth and power that would echo through the ages. This pilgrimage was not just a religious duty for Mansa Musa but also a display of his immense wealth, a wealth so vast it's hard for us to comprehend even today. As he traversed the vast African continent, he freely distributed gold to the people he encountered. From Cairo to Mecca, his generosity was boundless, changing the lives of those fortunate enough to cross his path. Imagine the scene, a man not just giving away gold but literally changing the economy of the regions he passed through. In Cairo, the amount of gold he spent was so enormous it caused a currency crisis that took years to correct. His generosity was more than just a display, it was a seismic event that transformed economies and lives. But Mansa Musa's pilgrimage was not just about displaying wealth and generosity, it was also about gaining knowledge. Along his journey, he met with scholars, engaged in philosophical debates, and sought to learn all he could from the different cultures he encountered. He was a man of wealth, yes, but also a man of intellect and curiosity. This journey brought Mansa Musa global fame, Word of his wealth and generosity spread like wildfire, reaching as far as Europe and Asia, he became a figure of fascination, a symbol of unimaginable wealth and power. The name Mansa Musa became synonymous with opulence and grandeur. His pilgrimage was not just a journey it was a spectacle, a testament to his wealth and his desire to share it. It was a statement that transcended boundaries and cultures leaving a lasting impact on the world. Even today the tales of his journey continue to captivate us, painting a vivid picture of a man whose wealth was only matched by his generosity. The world had never seen such wealth openly displayed and Mansa Musa's fame spread far and wide. His pilgrimage to Mecca was a defining moment in his life and in history, a journey that showcased not just his immense wealth, but also his spirit of generosity and quest for knowledge. It's a tale that continues to inspire and fascinate, a testament to a man who, in many ways, was truly larger than life. The aftermath of Mansa Musa's pilgrimage had far-reaching effects both for his empire and the world. After the epic journey, the world was not the same, nor was Mansa Musa's Mali empire. The gold he generously distributed as he traveled had a profound impact on local economies. Imagine if you will, the streets of Cairo, Mecca, and Medina, suddenly awash with gold. The markets were flooded, the value of gold plummeted, and inflation skyrocketed. The economies of these regions were in turmoil, and it took an estimated 10 years to recover. Now that's the power of wealth. But Mansa Musa's pilgrimage did more than just disrupt economies. It was a beacon that drew the world's attention to the Mali Empire. Until then, West Africa was a region largely unknown to the rest of the world. But as news of Mansa Musa's wealth and generosity spread, so did curiosity about his homeland. Scholars, traders and explorers started to venture into the empire, eager to see this land of gold for themselves. This increased global attention brought about a cultural renaissance in the Mali Empire. Mansa Musa's court became a thriving hub of arts and education, attracting scholars from across Africa and the Middle East. He invested in building schools, libraries and mosques, most notably the University of Sankore in Timbuktu, which became one of the world's leading centers of learning. Mansa Musa's pilgrimage was not just about flaunting his wealth, it was a strategic move that brought fame, influence and cultural growth to his empire. It was about making a statement to the world, a statement that resonated across centuries. Mansa Musa's pilgrimage not only displayed his astonishing wealth, but also put the Mali Empire on the world map. His journey was a masterstroke that showcased the power of strategic philanthropy and the influence of wealth. It reminds us that wealth is not just about accumulation, but also about how it's used to create impact. Mansa Musa passed away in 1337, but his legacy as the richest man in history lives on. With no Forbes list to capture his wealth, we can only speculate on its magnitude. Yet historians generally agree that his fortune surpasses that of any modern billionaire. The Mali Empire, under his reign, was one of the richest and most powerful states in the world. 
it was a beacon of prosperity, a hub of culture, and an epicenter of learning. Yet, when Mansa Musa left this world, it was as if a great light had been extinguished. His successors struggled to hold the empire together, and slowly but surely, the once mighty Mali began to crumble. Mansa Musa's death left a power vacuum that led to a period of instability. His sons and grandsons, though they tried, could not emulate his leadership nor sustain the wealth he had amassed. Wars broke out, provinces rebelled, and the empire started to fragment. However, even in decline, the Mali Empire remained significant, a testament to the solid foundations laid by Mansa Musa. Yet, the story of Mansa Musa is not one of decline, but of extraordinary wealth and influence. His life continues to captivate historians, economists, and dreamers alike. The tales of his wealth, his generosity, and his pilgrimage to Mecca are stories woven into the tapestry of human history. How does Mansa Musa's wealth compare to modern billionaires? Well, it's a bit like comparing apples and oranges. Mansa Musa's wealth was tied to the land, to gold mines, and to a prosperous empire. Today's billionaires on the other hand amass their fortunes through technology, finance, and industry. Yet when economists and historians try to convert Musa's wealth into today's dollars, the numbers are staggering. Some estimates put his fortune at around $400 billion, dwarfing the wealth of modern moguls like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. Mansa Musa's tale goes beyond his wealth. It's a story of a man who transformed a region, promoted education, and left an indelible mark on history. His reign saw the construction of architectural marvels, the promotion of arts and culture, and the establishment of the famous University of Sankori in Timbuktu. But perhaps the most enduring part of Mansa Musa's legacy is the map of the world drawn by Abraham Kresk in 1375. In it, a regal figure sits on a golden throne, holding a golden nugget in one hand and a golden scepter in the other. That figure is believed to be Mansa Musa, a fitting tribute to the man who put Mali and its wealth on the world map. Mansa Musa's tale is a testament to the extraordinary wealth that was found in the history of Africa, a wealth that remains unparalleled to this day. His story reminds us that wealth, power and influence are not new to Africa, but deeply rooted in its rich and diverse history. So there you have it, the journey of Mansa Musa, the richest man in history. Let's take a moment to reflect on this extraordinary life, a saga that transcends time and continues to captivate us today. Born in the heart of West Africa, Mansa Musa was destined for greatness, his life a testament to the immense wealth and cultural richness of the Mali Empire. From the very beginning, Mansa Musa's rule was golden, quite literally. The Mali Empire was a treasure trove of gold, and under his reign, it flourished like never before. But his wealth wasn't just about the gold mines, Mansa Musa was a visionary, investing in architecture, education and religion, fostering an era of prosperity and cultural enlightenment. Perhaps the most iconic chapter of his life was his famous pilgrimage to Mecca, a journey that put him on the global map. It was a spectacle of wealth and devotion, a testament to his deep faith and his empire's immense resources. The aftermath of this pilgrimage was transformative, not only for Mansa Musa, but for the regions he traversed, leaving an indelible mark on their history and economy. His legacy? It's as golden as his reign. His investments in architectural marvels like the Sankore University and the Jingoreber Mosque in Timbuktu still stand today, echoing the splendor of his era. His story continues to inspire and fascinate, a reminder of a time when Africa was the epicenter of wealth and knowledge. When we talk about wealth today we often think of the modern billionaires, the Bezos and Gates of the world. But even their colossal fortunes pale in comparison to the wealth of Mansa Musa. His wealth, adjusted for inflation, is estimated to be around $400 billion, a number that outshines even the richest of our modern moguls. From the Mali Empire to becoming a global sensation, Mansa Musa's story is a fascinating glimpse into the life of the richest man to have ever lived.